everybody. We're back. My next guest just began his fourth season on Saturday Night Live. Here he is from last weekend show. <laughs> Senator. I should just say three simple things that he did wrong. He didn't pursue Osama bin Laden. He gave tax cuts to the very rich, and he mistakenly went to war in Iraq. Then I should just sit down, confident in the fact that I just cleaned the president's clock and not say anything else. But I'm not going to do that. No, I'm going to keep on talking. Why? Because I can't help myself. Please welcome Seth Myers. Thanks for being here. It's great it, to be here. This is um, this has got to be strange because there you are. You're doing you do the Kerry impression on yes. Saturday Night Live, and you got to meet John Kerry recently. Does, is that a, at all strange when you it do the is, impression uh, and you meet the guy? It was really strange because he knew I, I played him on Saturday Night Live. He's really nice. He watches the show. He was saying he's like, I never miss a show. I'm like, really? My parents don't miss the show. I mean, they miss shows. Right. They're right, running right. for president. You can right. miss a show if you want. Um, but he was uh, he was really really nice. And uh, but then this weird thing happened, which is. Uh, Ben Affleck was also there, and we were backstage at this event, this fundraiser, and he went out, and then he goes, I've got some special friends here I want to introduce to you. We're going to bring out Ben Affleck. And so Ben Affleck walked out. And I don't know if you're ever in a situation where you have to introduce me and Ben Affleck. You want to introduce me first. <laughs> you don't want to uh, open with Ben Affleck. And then, uh, and then he said, and we also got the guy who plays me on Saturday Night Live, Seth Meyers. And I came out, and this was like a, a while ago before I, and there's like, I didn't know what to do. Right. Cause like you just like there were like 300 people that were like, "Oh, he's gonna do Carrie." Right. But I wasn't wearing a wig and I wasn't mic'd, so I just sort of froze up and I just did this. Right. Right. And everybody right. was like, "What's that? <laughs> What's he and doing?" Carrie goes, "I don't do that." And I was like, "You should." Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, "You're gonna tell me how to be me?" And I was like, "I don't know." <laughs> I, I, good one. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. right? I don't know. Please stop talking yeah. to me. <laughs> I don't want to be this. Dude. Now, what? now, what's interesting is you're in this position where if Kerry wins, you get to do this impression for four more years. Exactly. And if he loses, then you're you're sort of out of a major chunk of your job. Exactly. Has this influenced your voting at all? Um, <laughs> I, I would say that that's fair. But I think, you know, when you look at everything that's happening in the world right now with, you know, the global war on terror and economy and jobs... That what America really needs is more Seth Meyers on television. So I think <laughs> that's how everybody that's really, should. You've vote. swayed me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's right? important. You're a you're a Red Sox fan. I am. And uh, you actually went. Now I let's I still let's can't not believe. do it. Let's not do that, people. I, what are you mad about? Yeah. What have we done ever? Right. Right. To get, to get booed. Right. It's like a guy in an SUV being mad at a kitten that crossed its path. Exactly. <laughs> you almost scratched my SUV. <laughs> <laughs> Boo, you we just... want 90 championships. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to be asked to leave this town. Yeah, uh, yeah. But you went to the game last night. I did go last uh, did night. You, did you wear, here's the question, did you wear a Red Sox hat or not? I didn't. I don't do that. I know my own limits, and I would lose my mind if I started That's getting... a lot of hate going your way. It's a lot of hate, although I went to game seven last year, um... And I didn't wear anything then, too, but you, I... You're actually naked. <laughs> I'm totally naked, yeah. yeah. Um, and, as a, you know, I forget that, like, you know, I'm on SNL, and I sort of talk about being a Red Sox fan. As I was leaving, you know, the worst possible outcome of the game, some 12-year-old was like, hey, you're that guy on uh, Saturday Night Live. I go, yeah. He goes, bite me, dude! <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's yeah, always nice. That's nice. nice. Now, you, is it true that your your whole family they're Red Sox fans? Everybody? Whole, whole family Red Sox fans. It was actually really funny last year because Game Seven was so rough, and I was walking around in the days the next day, and my dad called me and he said, uh, "You know, I was watching the game with your mom last night." And he goes, "You know, your mom wasn't a sports fan when I met her. Uh, she didn't follow sports at all, but she married me. She had two sons, and she loves the Red Sox. You know, she watches every game all year long, and she's a huge fan. We were watching the game, and uh, you know, the Red Sox were up five one, and she wouldn't move from when she was sitting." And then uh, the Yankees tied it, and she started to pace and pace. And I should point out, my mom is like the sweetest, nicest lady in the world. Sure. She's a school teacher. She's just wonderful. And uh, when Aaron Boone hit the home run, she just turned to my dad and went, You son of a bitch, this is all your fault. <laughs> I never gave a damn about this, and now I'm going to go upstairs and throw up. It's you and those <laughs> bastard kids. <laughs> and my dad was like, You made me care. Yes. You made me care. And my dad said it was the best thing. He goes, because I instantly 
like all my like loss and, and you know sadness about the Red Sox was dissipated because I was like, oh my God, my wife just lost her mind. Yeah. Like, this is my bigger concern now. Did you say my wife or you're my mom? I well, I was talking for my dad. Oh. Yeah. Don't... I thought you were talking. No. I got no. confused Ooh. and I thought you just called your mom your wife and I was like. <laughs> This Where is, are you from, buddy? Yeah. It's officially it's officially turned into therapy. We're talking about the Red Sox, yeah. and then also my, my mom wife. You know, yeah, we've got issues. <laughs> oh, the old mom wife. She's a Red yeah, Sox yeah. fan, though. Well, she sounds nice. Uh, um, I, I got to mention this before we go, which is that you won the Celebrity Poker Showdown, which is a show that's really caught on, and yes. you you won the whole thing. I did. I did. I won a, a hundred thousand dollars for for the charity of the Jimmy Fund, which is a, a Boston yes. hospital. Yes. Yes. And, and uh, it was awesome. And you won by beating the race car driver Jeff Gordon. Yeah, I, we had a really fun hand. Jeff Gordon, super nice guy, and he had hosted our show, so I'd known him before. And uh, it was a huge pot, and he basically bluffed me, and I called his bluff and, and won. And then later he's like, "How did you know, man? How did you know to call my bluff?" And I'm like. Hey, man, I worked with you on Saturday Night Live. You're a terrible actor. <laughs> <laughs> you're, a, you're a great guy and a wonderful race car driver, but I knew when you were bluffing. I could see you acting, and I took you out exactly. of the knees. You're a very nice man. Uh, <laughs> next, uh, this is a good show coming up. Next it Saturday, Jude show. Law, yeah. hosting Saturday Night Live with musical guest Ashley Simpson. And the Saturday Night Live presidential bash is going to air Monday, November 1st. You got it. Hey, thanks a lot for being here. Being nice job. Me. Seth Meyers, we'll take a break and come back. The Libertines, stick around. Yeah. All right, everybody, that is our show. I do want to thank my guest, Seth Myers. Good man, thanks for being thank here. Thank you, good to be here. Our thanks to Matt Stone and Trey Parker for joining us. Man, I love this band, the Libertines. That was very cool having them on the show. Max Weinberg, the Max Weinberg 17. The last call stars and Dana Bottom of the Bat. Yeah, Trish and I think you should vote for Bush because, like the saying goes, you don't change horses in midstream. Yeah, it's like a marriage. You don't dump the guy you've been with for the last four years just because he turned out to be a liar and a disappointment. <laughs> yeah, it's like a marriage. You don't dump George Bush four years in just because she put on 48 pounds and started drinking. <laughs> Yeah, you don't bring Carrie in just because Bush can't perform in bed anymore. Well, maybe Bush can't perform because his wife put on 48 pounds and started drinking. Then why does Bush spend hours looking at man porn on the internet? It's not hours, Conan. Hours. To get away from you!